Scientists at Newcastle University have once again reignited the debate on genetic engineering by artificially creating what they say is human sperm. The team used human embryonic stem cells to create the sperm, which have tails and are, according to the scientists, fully mature and functional. Their ultimate aim is to be able to take a living or a dead man's skin and use it to replicate that man's sperm. That would mean a woman could have her dead husband's child or an infertile man would have the ability to father a child. That remains a long way off, but today's announcement outlines the concept. Professor Karim Nayernia led the team. I think it is very important because it is worldwide the first time that uh, uh, sperm cell, human sperm cell, uh, created has been created in the laboratory. And uh, now we have a system, for example, to study how genes regulate uh, sperm production. The technique developed so far, as shown in this video from the university, involved taking stem cells from embryos. They have the unique ability to grow into all sorts of different cell types. The scientists took ones which had the potential to become sperm cells and developed them using a substance called retinoic acid. They then became cells which have the ability to pass on their genetic material to future generations. The next step was to split them, so-called meiosis, so they have only one half of the chromosome set, just like sperm. Then some of those continue to grow, developing tails and more sperm-like characteristics. But some experts say these are not authentic sperm and don't have all the necessary biological characteristics. Secretary of the British Fertility Society, Dr Alan Pacey. The acid test would be to present them with an egg and see whether or not they could fertilise an egg and, and develop the beginnings of an embryo. Now that would have to be done under the, the current legal framework and under ethical controls, but it would be possible in a research setting. So there's a lot of experiments yet to do and there's a lot of proof needs to be shown, I think, to, to, for, to make people like me believe that these are actually fully functional and mature sperm. The same team created mouse sperm six years ago using similar techniques they went ahead and developed baby mice, but many were deformed and they all died. Many are now worried this latest breakthrough is unnatural, unethical and riddled with problems. Josephine Quinteval leads a fertility ethics group. We consider this as moral madness. Basically what they're claiming to do is to take healthy human male embryos, destroy them in order to extract stem cells, in order to create sperm, over which there are very big question marks as to what they've actually created, in order to create what? Other question mark healthy human male embryos. Professor Nyernia says if his team get to a point where the science is more reliable, they would want to change the law. That would be hugely controversial and the government would be forced to decide how far we want to tread down the path of creating artificial human life.